Hey and welcome to part two of my recent Las Vegas adventure. I drove my Integra from Washington all the way down to Las Vegas, 17 hours straight to swap in a B20B into my 98 LS. And uh, this video is gonna be a lot like the last Integra video where there's not a whole lot of play-by-play, -play, which is usually what I do on my videos. And this one especially is gonna be tough because I tried to condense about 15 to 20 hours worth of video into less than 40 minutes. This video is basically a highlight reel of uh, the misadventures of that trip. This is the first time I've ever actually been part of an engine swap and I learned a lot and Amir was really helpful in explaining a whole bunch of stuff to me. The way that we pulled the engine out of the car is a little bit unorthodox, but it worked and uh, we were able to put a new motor in without any injury or breaking anything, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Part three will be my wife's reaction to the B20B after bringing it back home to Washington. Thanks in advance for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So these are the wheels, the 17s that were on my white car and we put them on Steven's green car and I actually think they look better on this car than they did on my car. But I like my Meteor tires now. Day two in Vegas, we're heading over to Amir's shop right now to work on my car. Right now I'm driving my cousin's GSR with the B20. Supposedly my car is gonna drive pretty similarly on the low end. I'm really liking how this has a little bit more zip on the lower RPM range. One thing that I'm trying to do though is that this car is a GSR, which means it's got VTAC. So I'm trying not to do that too much because I'm gonna miss that when I drive my car and it's not there. Yeah, they're all in there. Oh my god, you can drive this thing. I don't drive it much. Only number four doesn't have oil in it. So how does that happen? Like, how do you get oil in there? Is it the... Um, you ever put the valve cover on? This is the original valve cover. Yeah. So they just put the gasket on bad? No, they didn't put silicone on the tube seals. Oh. Well, I'm glad I've only driven it maybe 4,000 total miles since I bought it from Steven. And it just goes to oil. That's why. I was wondering how to do that, how to clean that out. Holy sh! That's really bad. It's all crooked. Wow. Okay. One fifty. Okay. It's a little bit less. Okay. This one is less. 135. Okay. This one is closer to the first one. Yeah, 145. Control, right? No. You don't use.
that core looks pretty good. Surprise, your oil pan doesn't leak. That's good. Really? Everybody's oil pan leaks. Oh. Unless they well, put the gasket that, you know, the Felco gasket that I recommend, then it won't leak. Well, it, look, it, it leaked everywhere else, right? It's got to be good at something. Does that oil look pretty good? Oh, it's delicious. Well, it's because it's new. <laughs> it's new every 200 miles. <laughs> wow, the CVs are kind of leaky. The steering boots? Yeah, the steering boots. Are they broken? I don't know. They look a little leaky. Is that bad? Because they're broken. Because they're broken? Yeah. See? Well, that's good. Jeez. That looks pretty good. That's 38 gear oil. That's the substitute if you don't want Honda transmission for it. Will O'Reilly not carry it? No. Dealer item only. Is that why they use gear oil? No. But the Honda fluid, there's there's an additive in it, like a synchro mesh or something. Yeah. It's completely different. Is this bad for the transmission to run this stuff? Yeah, what? The gear oil? Yeah. No, that's, what, that's the only other substitute. Okay. Very weak. So it's, it's, it's okay in a pinch? Yeah. Okay. That's a transmission to engine support bracket. What was their reasoning for putting on there? Vibration, maybe. Bar or something? This is the shift linkage. Oh. For the shifter and transmission. Okay. See that oh, big guy's yeah. box? Yeah. That's a resonator box for the intake. The bumper doesn't need to get you to pull the motor. We're doing it because we're going to polish your headlights. It's one screw? Wow. Useless and you're gonna see how much this beam weighs right now. Oh, dang, there's a good 40 50 pounds. Seriously, Right. Oh, is that broken? Or is that the way it looks? Oh, yeah. So you need one motor mount 
think I have one. Dang. That's fun. Wow. Did you see that? For the amount of money you put into this car, three thousand dollars. That wasn't new to you. Now it's a new. Jeez. That's how the motor comes out. That's impressive. That's how you separate the trans? And that's how you separate the trans. How's that look? Looks like it's got some smooth spots on it. You know the... How you tell is because a new one, you see the grooves, yeah. the channels? Uh -huh. It's worn down. Uh -huh. You see the channels aren't that deep anymore. Yeah, it's almost smooth. Yeah, almost. Still had life left. Yeah. Original clutch, made in Japan. Exciting, yeah. yeah. Looks like it's in okay shape. You want my recommendation? I will change these accesses. I just don't know the history on it. We're yeah. Here. Might as well. Unnecessary plastic. Shit. This is unnecessary plastic. Ooh, man, whatever's in there stinks. I don't know. But, oh, that does stink. Bye bye, unnecessary plastic crap. Plastic crap. That's easy to do that. Snap, snap. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. 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 Oh, that's a lot of stu
Wow, it still had food in it. I thought it was empty. No, it's got a lot of food in it. What the hell? Woo! Oh my gosh. Yeah, she like oh, dude. Come take a whip of this. Take a whip of that. Take a whip. Oh, don't blow it at me. You said take smell a whip. Smell it. You said make a wish. Whip means take a smell. It smells like Oh, the literal poop. Where can I dump it? I Toilet? Outside. Okay. Cool to see what where that stuff actually goes, cause I never really knew. That works. Wow, that's it. That's crazy. I'm ready to hold the transition and do it. a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be.
you're gonna be the visual. So okay. I'm gonna be the support. Okay. You're gonna guide it in. Okay. And then you're gonna line up the top holes. Okay. Like this is your, you know, your mounting point. Okay. Get the top hole of the transmission to line up with that. Okay. Once that happens, you get another bell point to put here. I'm going to guide the, the input shaft into that center hole. We're going to line up the two holes on the top. Literally, so once you get it in the center hole, the input shaft, we're just going to, it's going to pop right into place. Okay. okay. Just make sure, the, this is one bolt hole. You okay. just got to get this lined up. Okay. Get that lined up, it's going to pop right in. Okay. Once we pop it right in, grab a transmission bolt, okay. put it in. Okay. Turn it. Turn it, get a couple threads in. Okay. And we'll have the gun ready, so this way, as soon as you got it in, whoop, zap that mother in, it's in, that's it, done. Okay. Then the rest I can put in. Okay. We just need one bolt to secure it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay, put the other bolt in.
Prosperous.